We are looking forward to a fabulous auction. We have boards all the way from 1920s, all the way up to 1990.
lay the pen sideways, tape yourself and put a pin line, flip the board over and put the pin line on the other side. And I can't believe they spent this much time. Nowadays, there's no way you would do that. So this is, look how clean this is. There's no beans. It's almost like brand new. And that tells a little bit about this generation. It was the mid-60s. Everybody was doing signature models. And uh, of course, I was working for Hap Jacobs. Not, actually, as a salesman on the front of Robert Ox. And signature models came in, and they had a gorgeous model and uh, the big way with the Phil, Phil Edwards uh, movie. And uh, I was working at sale, and Hap came in one day and said, guys, we're going to do a model. We want to do something different. Everybody's doing square tail. And we had a lot of really good guys on that tap speed. We had Rusty Miller, Mike Doyle, Henry Ford, Ricky Hatch, Don Craig, Sparky Hudson, Freddie Fowler, all these guys. Eddie Skyler. They picked me to do a model. Okay? So I have said, okay, the guys told me to do have a model. We get a point right from now that represents the point break. We're going to have some shape in this. If you were going to do a signature model, everybody else is doing square tails, but Lance, you were known to ride right the pigtails from all the back when I was making ball scenes in the late 50s. What do you think? So we got together and he took me in the shape room and we started designing this thing because um, there's a couple of guys here that were surfer shapers and so I have one of to, to have that privilege and honor to be a writer and have a shaper and make these things the way I would write it in Melbourne. And as Randy said, this came to the we a lot of these things back in the day. And I wrote, I still got my original 10 foot with the three regular stringers as we speak in my garage. I wrote that thing for 15 years at Malibu and even overhead the uh, big ring on no time. And uh, it was one of those boards that you could get right on the tip and stand there. Separate ways and go tie ring up. And a lot of guys have them. Let Lance take 10 up here. All right, now I'll say what it used to be. But these boards, we had a lot of fun on. We did them uh, for two years, and then our dear friends, Bob and Tavish, the Australians, came up with a V model short boards and put us out of business at the night. <laughs> but I'm still doing replications of these. I can achieve them in Melbourne. I'm still doing these in Melbourne. I made an agreement with Hap Jacobs to uh, trademark the logo. And uh, I, I am doing these as replications to this day. But these originally had three redwood stringers in the, in the first uh, six months. Then we went to the balsa stringers, which is what is the final series. We went from a yellow pin to a black pin with a, a yellow pin line. This is like one of the mid-range in a two-year period of radius. This is one of the, the second series. But this is the original. And I shaped this one because when I came in, the first thing I did, I checked the numbers because all the shapers had different penmanship when they put the pencil mark on the balsa stringer. That's one of mine. I did that. Thank you for coming to our sixth Hawaiian Vintage Surf Auction.